Special relativity is based on two principles. The first principle is that laws of physics are the same for all freely moving observers, no matter what their speed. If in a train we throw a ball, it will follow the very same laws of motion whether the train is at rest or moving. There's no experiment we can perform to let us know if we are uniformly moving or standing still. We could equally say that the train is travelling leftward or the world is moving rightward. After all, with respect to the sun, the train and the whole earth are moving around. Everyday experience tells us that if we drive a car at 100 km per hour and we throw a cam at 30 km per hour, an observer on the ground will see the cam passing by at 130 km per hour. If the cam is thrown in the opposite direction, the observer will see it moving at 70 km per hour. But the second principle states that light doesn't behave like a cam. If we shine a light, we would measure the light beam to be the exact same speed, regardless of where we are. The speed of light is the same for all observers, no matter where the speed of the source. To solve this paradox, we can use a light clock. A device made of two mirrors, separate by a distance of 300,000 kilometers, and a pulse of light bouncing between them. Every time the pulse strikes one mirror, the clock will add one second. Now imagine this clock to be on a rocket moving through space. As we travel, we can see the light just go up and down, and the clock ticking away happily, and there wouldn't be anything odd about it. But to an external, stationary observer, it looks like the light will follow a different path, a longer one. But because the speed is the same for all observers, this could only mean that the time it took was longer. Actually, moving clocks slow down. Every object always travels through space-time at the speed of light. When the object is at rest, it only travels through time. As it begins to move and speed up through space, it slows down through time. The ratio is always equal to C. When it reaches the maximum speed, that of light, time stops. Special relativity explains how speed affects time and space. General relativity includes gravity and redefines it as a warping of space-time. A massive object creates a depression in the fabric of space-time. Smaller objects will tend to roll down into the depression. The heavier the object, the deeper the depression. And the stronger the attraction. Light beams themselves are bent and time slowed down. General relativity is based on the principle of equivalence between gravity and acceleration. Therefore, there's no way to know if we are in free space or free-falling in a gravitational field, nor if we are uniformly accelerating or standing still in a gravitational field.